Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually going to be uh, modifying this thing right here and possibly doing a mission with it. Uh, the reason we are going to modify it is because at the minute, well, the back end is somewhat underwater, and um, we actually have a bit of an issue taking off from the water too. So we need to try and figure that out if we can, uh, and then we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okay, so I don't want this to just be a build video, I want this to be a normal video where we go out and we actually do things for fun. Uh, so, what I think, what I think I'm going to do is, I'm gonna grab this guy right here, this guy right here, we're gonna go all the way to the front. And we're gonna grab each of these, all the way out to there, we're gonna go ahead and cut it. I'm gonna move it outwards by one, and I'm just gonna paste it right there. We're gonna go to the other side, and we're gonna do a very similar thing. Cut it, move it outwards by one, and paste it there. From there, we're actually gonna go ahead and just build these guys into each other. And honestly, that should be fine. So, let's get the red, go ahead and put it on there, and get it built. Okay, so, uh, I gone ahead and uh, modified these a little bit so that they are actually now floaty pontoons and honestly, I guess that floats a little bit better, but not too, too much better, but I guess that's okay. So, I am very pleased with that. Uh, with that being said, can it now fly? Uh, if it can, that'd be awesome. If it can't, I don't know, I guess we're gonna have some issues, but let's go ahead and do this and this. We'll turn on the light on the inside. I'm also going to turn on the nav lights. Let's go ahead and see if we can take off. All right, here we go. Here we go, and... I feel like we should be able to get out of the water here, but it's just not... It's just not quite working, is it? It's really weird. It's really, really strange that that can't take off. I feel like it just should be able to, but never mind. Let's go ahead and turn around. We'll drive back to the base, um, and we'll figure it out a little bit more from there. we got to make this work. Okay, so, uh, what I'm gonna do is actually increase this by one, increase that one by one as well. That should amplify it actually quite a lot, and we should have a little bit more power coming through the propellers, and hopefully allowing this to fly. So, let's get in the seat again, go ahead and close that again, turn the little light on, navigation lights, turn this on as well, go, go, go! Three, two, one, bam! There you go, just a little bit more power. Should get us into the uh, air uh, relatively quickly, and it does. So there you go. Gearing definitely helps. All right, cool. So it flies, it uh, drives, it floats. So everything actually currently works on this thing. Let's go ahead and land, and we'll try and figure out a mission for this thing to actually do. Oh, I was just thinking actually, we need to add a cable thingamabobby. Yep, one of these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just shove that on the front. I know that seems like a weird place to put it, but that's where we're going to do it. Uh, and we are going to connect that directly down to here and uh, to the batteries as well, if possible. So do that. There you go. Very nice. Yeah, so now if we need to recharge it, we can totally do that from there. Uh, and that should work out fine. We also need a way of actually refueling this thing. And at the minute, we don't actually have any way of doing that. Uh, which is crazy, actually. So, what I think we'll do is we'll go to here, and we'll build this out the side. Ah, uh, you know what? That's no good. That's not good. Let's just do it from here, actually. So, delete that guy. Get ourselves a pipe. We'll shove one of these guys onto here, and that should be good. Yeah, so just go ahead and shove that on. Whack it there. Get ourselves a hose piece, and shove it on there as well. And we should be able to refuel it from here. It's on the wrong side, but that's fine. Okay, so I was also thinking that this bit right here needs sealing. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do this, uh, which should actually make it look a little bit nicer anyway. So we're going to do those guys right there. I'm going to shove this guy onto there like that, and this one onto here. That makes this piece almost sealed, except this bit. Which I think I might even extend that out the top. Which seems strange, but I think I'm going to do it. So, let's get another pipe. Here we go, a straight piece. Work that on there, on there, and do this. Get ourselves a heat sink thingamabobby, a radiator. Shove that directly on the top. But first, we're gonna seal it off. Oh yeah! Alright, cool. And then this is literally just gonna go on the top like that. Alright, it seems weird to do that kind of thing. But at the same time, I think that's actually completely fine. And definitely gonna work. Uh, right, let's go ahead and connect it to there, so whenever the button's on, this is on, um, and that should be good. Does it float a little bit better now that we've done that? 
Not really, but we're not really having that many floatable issues anyway. It's just water is on the deck, that's all. Okay, so I am thinking a bed would actually be a really cool addition to this. Uh, but I have no idea where a bed would actually fit. It's sort of like if we put it in the floor, <laughs> uh, like this, but there's no way I could do that. So unfortunately, that is not going to be the case. I could actually attach one to the front end uh, and just have it in here like this. But that, realistically, is not a very good idea. It's just not. Um... I could do it anyway, I guess I might actually do it anyway, uh, and we'll just see if it's fine. It looks like it could be, but you just never know, so let's go ahead and spawn it in. There you go. It looks like it is still floating the way that it was. There you go. We'll jump across, and we're going to go to sleep until we get a mission we can actually do. Okay, so a boat is having an emergency without an exact location. It is somewhere in here. Uh, let's go ahead and select the center of that, and we will try and do this mission in this thing. Is it a good idea? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. So let's close this up. There you go. Uh, we will do this and this. There we go. Turn the starter on. There we go. We have 873 fuel. Let's see if we can take off. Oh, easy. Easy. Easy, nice. And uh, let's get ourselves over to the destination, which again should be fine. Okay, so uh, on the video before the previous video, uh, somebody did mention that we need a battery um, dial. We also actually need uh, an altimeter, and I suppose um, a an artificial horizon would be a good idea too. So I think uh, whenever we return back to our base, that is what we're going to have to add to this thing. Um, but yeah, it seems a little bit strange flying something like this. Um, it does work, but I do want it to look a little bit nicer. And I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. But I do need to come up with something, because, yeah. At the minute, it doesn't, it doesn't quite look right, does it? There's something wrong. There definitely is. Alright, so we are getting very close to where we need to be. Uh, one thing that I do actually need to do as well is do all of these guys. Um, and... I'm not entirely sure what our engine temperature is right now. Uh, I do have a way of checking, so that's not too, too bad, but it's still annoying. Right, uh, we are in the circle now. I do not currently see any vehicles. I am going to go ahead and travel to the left first, and we'll, uh, we'll scout around the outside. Usually with things like this, um, I feel like the boat is usually in the river, but we'll figure that out soon. Oh, guys, 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 I think I can see something. Let's have a little look. And yes, there is a boat that is on fire down there. So let's go ahead and drop down and we'll see. All right, here we go. Is that actually on fire? Yeah, it looks like it is. All right, we need to do an actual landing here. All right, let's slow it down. We're in boat mode now, so now we just need to drive like a boat. <laughs> uh, and that's fine. Yes. As long as I don't do anything with the pitch, this is okay. Oh, you know what? That actually works so well. That works really, really well. That's crazy. All right, let's turn off the engine. There we go. And get these guys rescued. Oh, my. Uh, it has just exploded. That sounds crazy, but it did. Uh, right, how many people do I need to rescue here? Uh, observatory's on fire as well. Wait, when did that happen? Okay, so six casualties. Holy. Wait, do I have enough seats for that? Oh, no. Wait, do I? I might just about have enough seats for this. Right, I'm going to shove this guy into the bed. Hopefully that's okay. Uh, a guy on board just died. i just seen it. Uh, I need to get on board as well. That'd be good. You just died. Oh, wow. You're all stood like on a fire. Uh, right, let's go ahead and put out that fire right there. There we go. Uh, how do I get downstairs? Wait, how do I get downstairs? That's a light. That's the back of the boat. How do you get down there? Oh, that guy just died too. How do you get downstairs on your ship? Is this it? All right, here we go. Cool. Oh, yeah, you're on fire. Let's do this. There we go. You're out. And that bit should be out, too. There we go. Fires have been extinguished. Right, so there's a few dead guys uh, that we need to deal with. That's okay. Let's go ahead and close this up. Luckily, a lot of them are still alive, so we'll heal you up. There's one, two. Uh, that guy's dead. This guy's dead. I need to find one more person. So one, two, three, four, five... And then there's one more guy somewhere in the ship. I don't know where. Oh, here you are. All right, cool. 
So, all of the guys are here. Um, what I'm going to do is grab the two that are fine. And we're going to jump across onto our boat. There we go. So you two in there. I do not need the fire extinguisher anymore, so we'll put that back. We need the defibrillator for the rest of the guys. And then we can go. Okay. Alright, I'm kind of lucky that there was only three that actually died. But there you go. So, uh, go ahead and heal you up, heal you up, and heal you up too. I don't actually have enough seats for all of you, so one of you is just going to have to sit inside. Um, unfortunately for me, I guess. Because you guys are annoying. But anyway, grab you. Shove you in that seat. Grab you. I'm going to have to add more seats to this thing. Even just emergency seats that don't look right. I'm going to have to add them. Right, you go there. Hopefully you don't tip us over. We now need to get to the next emergency. Unfortunately, you're not the only one. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Are we able to get into the sky? Yes. All right, fantastic. So, uh, the next thing is obviously that observatory fire. So we need to figure out where it is. And go rescue those guys. Oh, man. All right, they're only 2.4 kilometers away. So, uh, we put out a fire on a boat. We have six guys on board. Uh, I do need to make sure none of you guys die. Um, and I do need to get to the next bit. We got this. Oh, my. I think this thing is actually way quicker than anything we've got as well, by the way. Uh, it seems really, really fast. All right, so we land pretty close to where we need to be. We need to rescue five guys, and we need to put out a fire. Okay, so we get to where we need to be. We then drive ourselves around to the dock, because this thing is able to do that. And there we go. All right, how much fuel we got? Loads. All right, you stay in here and uh, look after... Oh, hang on. Hang on. I'm a bit stuck. Close to the door. Oh, okay. Right, I am very stuck. Let's put you here again. And get outside. Here we go. Doesn't matter if water really goes in there, because it's not actually part of the buoyancy anyway. Uh, so let's get back outside, close this up again, and let's go get the guys. Holy! Alright, some of these guys are going to be dead. Uh, this is very, very on fire. <laughs> uh, right, okay, let's go and put that bit out first. Go inside. Okay. Yes, and... Yes, that is everything. Nice. Uh, one, two... Wait, actually, is that just two of you? Oh, no, where's the third? Are you in here? Hey! Alright, cool. That is lucky. So we got three guys. Let's get them on our boat plane thingamabobby, our hybrid, and uh, get out of here. All right. Unfortunately, you guys don't really fit, but, uh, well, actually, I don't know what to do. <laughs> There's no way for you. Uh, you're going to have to just go inside. Oh, uh, this seems like a bad idea. We are totally going to tip over. All right. So you go there. You go there. And you. Uh... I have to come inside, too. Uh... You go there. Alright, okay. We've got a lot of people in here. <laughs> we have so many people on board, but we're okay. Right, make sure we know where we're going. So we're just gonna head to this hospital right here. With... Nine people on board, I think? Okay, I think we've got nine guys on board. Holy moly! Alright, if we can't take off in plane mode, we can go in boat mode. Uh, but this does actually seem fine. Yes. We've come up with quite a good vehicle here. Uh, one thing that I would say is that in land mode, I don't think it's quite right. So we need to figure that out. But, um, yeah. More seats, and this thing is perfect. And I guess land mode stuff as well. Um, as well as that, I'm going to try and sort out the interior just to be a little bit nicer as well. I think that makes sense. Alright, so, uh, let's go ahead and land somewhere down here. Uh, I'm assuming the, um, oh, it does fly a little bit weird with these guys stood up in here. Uh, but yeah, I'm assuming this bit round to this side is probably the best way to land, or the best place to land. Um, because it's the closest to the hospital. So, let's dump ourselves down in the water. There we go, and then we can drive it like a boat. And that's fine. I do need a reverse gear on this, because at the minute we don't have one. So I'm trying to be very careful with where I park. But, um, yeah, overall it actually seems quite good. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and turn it into here. Excellent. Turn our engine off. And now we got to get all of these people to hospital. <laughs> There's so many guys in here. Alright, you go there. You get out the way of the door. Okay, it's time to start just dumping them in the water or something. Alright, here we go. 
So, let's get everybody out of the cab first. That seems like it would make sense. There we go. Nice. I do not want to tip over. So, putting them in the water does make more sense than putting them on the boat. But let's get out and close the door just to make sure. There we go. Right, okay. So, we have... Uh... Whoa! You are risking it, buddy! You are totally risking it. Right, okay. I'm just gonna try and get everybody out of their seats, first off. And then from there, we can get them all into the hospital. And that will be brilliant! Alright, there you go. And there we go. So, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Yes, follow me. Yes, follow me. Okay, and follow me. How many people is that? I have no idea. I actually don't know. A lot of them seem stuck, but that's okay. Let's just get most of them onto the pier. And then once we've got them all on the pier, it'll be really easy to take them to the hospital. So just drop them all here. There we go. There's one, two. Stop following me. Three. Okay. And four. Okay. I think there should be like nine altogether. So there's four there. There should be five more on the boat. It looks like they could be, but I don't know, they're inside each other. Alright, here we go. I'm just gonna pick them off and drop them down. No, that's four, isn't it? Alright, follow me. Follow me, and follow me. Alright, is there one more guy somewhere? I feel like there's one more person somewhere. I don't know, am I... Oh, on the, on the front. Yes, he's in the bed. <laughs> I now know where the guy is. He is sleeping on the front of the boat. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and stop you there. So is that everybody for now? Yes. Okay, let's go get the last guy. Oh, the last two guys, because that guy didn't follow me, but that's okay. Right, so you. I'm going to heal you first. There we go. I'm going to jump in the water. We're going to grab this guy. Follow me, and that is brilliant. Okay, so let's dump this guy right here. There we go. Uh, I think that guy is still in the water. Yeah, this one doesn't want to follow me for some reason. So we'll grab this guy again. We'll actually just grab him and take him over. Okay, so uh, follow me. Yes, follow me. Yes, follow. Yes, follow. Yes, follow. Uh-huh. Follow, follow. Follow and follow. Is that everybody? I think that is everybody following. Let's go. We should have a huge line of people now. Yes, we do. Alright, this is a lot of money and a lot of research points. At the minute we have five, because we put out two fires, and we had three to begin with. Uh, this should leave us with a lot. I'm hoping so anyway. I say a lot. Actually, it's probably one per person, so... Um, I guess we'll end up with 14 oh, at the end? I'm not sure. Uh, is there anyone that's, like, super damaged? That guy's a little bit... I don't have any more first aid kits, so just come inside and... Give me money! Come on, everybody! Yeah! I don't know how much money we started with either, but we just got about three grand for each of those people. That is awesome! Uh, right, 14. Yes, one per person. Excellent. Alright, so let's go ahead and get inside. I am going to go ahead and fly back to our base, and we're actually going to do some small modifications to this again, because uh, I feel like that is a good idea. So we'll go ahead and set this, and we'll go. Okay, so we are almost home. This thing is actually very, very fast. It goes 87 uh, meters per second, which I don't know what that is in miles an hour, but I would say that that is quite quick, especially for a diesel engine. So we're going to return this back to the workbench, and we're going to do some modifications uh, in a second. I just had a quick Google. That is actually 200 miles an hour. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. Uh, right, so I'm thinking we actually put some spotlights uh, into the side pieces right down here. So we're going to do something along the lines of that and that. Uh, obviously, we're going to change the color of the lights themselves uh, to be more like white or gray. I guess gray makes sense. There you go. Um, and we will actually connect that straight away. So, spotlights, attach that to there, attach it to there. That is awesome. Um, I now want to try and figure out what I want the rest of it to actually look like. So, I think, instead of this bit being red, we're actually going to have that bit be grey. And then we can paint the red bit back on this, and I think that'll look quite nice. I I'm not entirely sure about that, uh, but I think so. So, if we go ahead and we do this... Uh, kind of like that. There you go. I'm actually going to go ahead and do that piece there as well. 
And then we're going to jug this, jug that, jug this, and this, and this. There you go. Do all of this side, including that piece. Honestly? I don't know. Does that look cool? Does that look bad? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm really not sure. Uh, right, so we're going to go ahead and build this bit back into there, just like this. There you go. Uh, and I think I want to put some lines on this somewhere too. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll actually have a bit of a red line go around the outside uh, right here. There we go, that looks pretty good. And have it go around the back side uh, like this. There we go. Honestly, I think that is probably good enough. There you go. So instead of it being three tall, let's just have it be two tall. And honestly, I think that looks good. Yeah, that looks fine. Uh, a little bit of a line through this might be cool too. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure where I would want to do that, unless it goes like here. A little bit, and then maybe a little bit of red as well. I don't know, does that look strange? I think it looks a little bit weird. Um, so if I was to do this, all the way across the bottom, I'd do that across the bottom too, and we'd leave it essentially like that. I don't know how I feel about these pieces, but the rest of it looks cool. Also, side note, I'm actually going to change the green color to a gray as well. Uh, and then overall, I think that actually looks really good. Yes, I am very pleased with this. Uh, so, now that we've done that, what did we need? We need more seats. We need to add an altimeter. We need to add some extra stuff as well. Uh, seats being on the outside like that seems strange. Uh, but that's where we have them. So there you go. I'd like to have more of an interior space as well. But unfortunately, I just don't think we're going to do it. So, instead, I'm going to delete these guys right here like this. I'm going to put some seats there. Uh, which may or may not look really, really weird and random. But there you go. Uh, and I'm actually going to go ahead and give them padding on the back. <laughs> so, let's go with it. Tank, here we go. I like using these as, like, backing pads. There you go. And then maybe some manifolds on top of there. That might look really weird. All right, there we go. So something like that. Those are actually seats located on the front of this thing. Very strange, but I don't know. I guess it works. I would also actually maybe not mind doing tanks here as well. Um, and I am going to get rid of the fuel within them, obviously. So let's do this and this. Grab an extra tank. Let's shove it into there and into there. And I don't know whether I should seal this bit up. I guess I probably should. Uh, so we'll do that as well, delete these guys, and we'll shove these guys onto there as well. I don't know whether that's quite the right height, but maybe. Also, I said I'd sealed this, but actually I hadn't, because this is open anyway. Uh, but yeah, let's have a little look and see what that looks like. I think the entire thing actually looks really good now. I like it. Okay, so another thing that I actually kind of want to do, I don't know whether it's a good idea, uh, but essentially, I want to move most of this upwards. Uh, so that's a door, unfortunately, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go all the way out to here. We're going to grab these guys on the top. And I'm going to go backwards to there. And we're going to try and cut it and move it upwards by one. And then I'm going to paste it there. Uh, the main reason for this is because uh, you can't actually stand up on the inside. And that's a really big issue. So, yeah, I'm trying to essentially just solve that issue uh, by doing this. All right, let's go ahead and paint this guy right here, paint those guys, and I need to seal off the rest of this, not with a door, but with this. Um, put that guy in there. I don't know if I want to put windows in here or not. I kind of feel like I should, but at the same time, I'm really not sure. All right, grab this and this, cut it, move it upwards one. There we go, paste it in there. Oh, no, never mind. Move it down and paste it there instead. And merge those guys together. And... I think that still looks okay, right? I feel like it does. Uh, we're going to go ahead and paint this red, obviously. On the interior of this, we're going to paint that and that, that color. And then I think I'm just going to add some windows uh, to the top of this. They might look strange. They might not look strange. I don't really know. So, let's go with this. And we'll have them actually angled inwards. Which may or may not be a weird thing. Does that look cool? Does it look weird? I'm not sure. Okay, so uh, I'm actually going to quickly nip down to here and I'm going to jug that. I'm going to jug that and I'm going to jug this. And I guess I'm going to jug that side too. Uh, I'd like to do the same at the front so that everything is essentially the same color all the way around. Um, and then I want to select these 
and they are already as big as they could possibly be. I just think they're not quite right. If we go to land, we have to land pretty much perfectly, and that's an issue. It's definitely an issue with me anyway, so what I think we should do is lower them down. If I cut this and I move it downwards by one, I think that's just going to be so much better doing it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and move all of these down, just by one, and hopefully that works. I'm assuming it'll be fine. Okay, so I've gone ahead and moved them down, and I have actually, oh, well, I painted the ones at the other side, but there you go, I painted them black too. So, uh, essentially, they are a little bit lower than they were. It does look a little bit goofy, as if we've just shoved a hovercraft slash boat onto a uh, car, <laughs> but uh, that should work fine. Honestly, I do kind of want the wheels to go back here instead, um, but they're going to stay where they are for now. I think the land bit is sort of... I don't know, not as important as the rest of it, so we're going to leave it as is. Um, okay, right. I'm happy with the way this is looking. I am going to paint these guys in here. Uh, that bit should actually be white, I think. I think I've accidentally painted some of this. Uh, so actually, this bit should be white. There you go. Yeah, I've accidentally painted a bunch of this by accident. That's what accidentally means. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and paint this bit in here as well, because that bit needs to be red. And then I think I'm good. Yeah, I think we're good to go from there. I might add some, like, logos and stuff. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, I do want to add some handles, because they'd be really useful. Um, in case we need to, like, climb around this thing. So let's go ahead and put some handles in there. I'm going to put another handle in right here, but it's going to be white, of course. So let's shove that onto there. And, uh, yeah, as we do stuff like this, we're going to have to go around painting things. Um, I'm also going to make this work. I do have a microcontroller for that. And then, um, yeah, it will be good to go and do another mission, maybe. Okay, so this microcontroller is actually off the workshop. If you want it, it is called Instrument Panel with Dials. Essentially, uh, it has a bunch of input signals. You then send the composite over to the dial, uh, the instrument panel, uh, and that's just the way this works. It's actually kind of simple, so um, we're going to use it. There you go. In signal goes on the top. It goes from here. We then need to attach this to everything that we need. So, uh, if I have a little look at this, uh, instrument 4 is actually going to be for the battery. There we go. Uh, just so I don't need an extra dial for that. So, um, yeah, 4 is battery. 3 is radiator temperature. So, if I can do it with these, that'd be good. So, 4 is battery. That's somewhere towards the front. I don't know where my batteries are, actually. There they are. Um, 3 is radiator temperature. Okay. If we go back into this, two is engine temperature and one is RPS. So, uh, two is engine temperature, that is this thing right here, and one is RPS. So that is all fine. Uh, I'm assuming that is all going to work out straight away, without me actually doing anything with the uh, channels. I'm sure that will actually be fine. I do need to do something with the channels right here though. So, because it's on one, that is going to be channel one. Channel 2, because it's on 2, channel 3, because it's on 3, and channel 4, because it's on 4. I think that's the way this works, anyway. Um, and, just to make you guys a little bit more happy, engine temperature, we're going to have that go up to 150. There you go. Uh, engine RPS, we're going to have that go to 30. Actually, I'll set it at 35, just in case. Uh, radiated temperature, we're going to do 150 there as well, and battery does actually only go to 1 anyway. So there you go. Hopefully you guys are happy now that I've done that. Um, the speedo is going to stay in meters per second, because it doesn't really matter what we do. And our max speed is around 90, so we're going to go with 100. Uh, our fuel is something like 900, and that is it. Alright, cool. All right, so we need an altimeter uh, to know how tall or how high we actually are in the sky. We're going to go and shove one of those uh, right here, because we can. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go, lovely. Uh, we are going to have to have a dial for that. I'm not sure where to put it, though. I don't know, we're running out of room in here. I think I can just put it there uh, for now, which may or may not be a good place for it. Uh, altitude. Altitude. All right, good. Connect that directly down to here. Uh, excellent. And then we need an artificial horizon. If we actually have one unlocked, which we do. And I'm going to shove that here. 
Um, yeah, that might be weird, but let's do it. So, window, yes, we're gonna go with a one by one, and we're just gonna shove it in. I don't know what that'll look like. So one there, and one there. And I'm just gonna paint around the outside of this, obviously, so there, there, and there. Not in black, though. Oh, actually, you know what, maybe. And we're gonna do this. Yeah, it looks really weird from the front, but it's what we've got. Okay, so save this as uh, that, there we go. And I think I'm actually extremely happy with the way this thing turned out. I still need to add more um, handles and stuff everywhere, and I'm gonna do some paint on this at some point, probably. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm really happy with this. So, uh, I think for now, I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, we ended up doing two missions today and modifying this thing. So, there you go. Anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.